Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you, everyone? Hello, Francisco. Hello. Hello, Maria Fernanda. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hola, Chum. Bye. Good evening. Good evening, Edward. I'm fine. How are you? Okay. I just come to work. Oh, okay. So we're, you're just arriving home. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. Okay, so you were in a hurry, running and getting ready. Yeah, good. Good. But welcome. Just breathe in and breathe out and relax. We are going to start just in some seconds, okay? There we go. Good evening, Rita. Good evening, Elvia. Good evening, Silvia. How are you, Silvia? How are you, Rita? Hi, teacher. Thank you. Okay, great. Great. Is it raining um, in your place? Is it raining? Uh, <clears throat> no, now. Oh, okay. Here it was raining just a moment ago. Yeah, it was raining. I was very worried because of the internet connection. <laughs> yeah, because a uh, few minutes, uh, they were agony. I, I um, got disconnected from the internet service. So, oh, I was really, really stressed out. Yeah, but now, thank God, we have everything ready. Okay. Hello, Carla Marielos. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Carla? I am fine. Okay. How was your day today? I am good. Good. Okay. Great. It makes us happy, right? <laughs> it makes us happy to hear that you are, your day was good. Okay. Hello, Carlos. Um, Carlos Rogel. Okay, just let me uh, do a reminder here, okay? This is just a reminder. Remember that you have to write down your complete name, okay? Two names and two last names. Please remember that. Go to the button menu in your video and in, in your little screen and Please rename if you didn't write your two names and your two last names. Okay. Tal y como Don. se inscribieron. Done. Done. Okay. Thank you. Si ¿Sí saben cómo hacerlo? Okay. Vamos a dar la instrucción para los que no saben cómo renombrarse ahí. Den un clic sobre o pongan su mouse sobre su cuadrito donde aparece usted, su video. Ponga un, 
y ahí le va a aparecer solicitar o activar audio y eso. Ahí a la par hay un botón con tres puntitos. ¿Ok? En esos tres puntitos le da clic y le aparece la opción renombrar. Le da clic en renombrar y me pone dos nombres, dos apellidos, tal y como se inscribió. ¿Ok? ¿Entendido? Okay, then. Welcome, everyone. The first thing we are doing is uh, to take the attendance, okay? Uh, Angeli Magali Coronado Díaz. Not yet. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Uh, not yet, right. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Please say present and turn on your video, your video cam. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Okay. Um, Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present. Thank you. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Not yet, right. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. One moment, please. I had the interference here. And uh, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Not yet. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher, teacher. Yes, Fausto. Fausto. Okay, Fausto, thank you, Fausto. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Okay, I know that you are there, but you've got to say present. Uh, Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher, present. Yes, okay, Francisco, thank you. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavirio Guerrero. Present. Thank you, Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Not yet. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. I think not yet either. Okay. Okay. Then we are going to start with the first activity. Let's remember that the topic that we are studying is the near future. So we are using going to. Let me see. Teacher. Someone is having pro. Excuse me. En la lista falté yo. Leslie. Okay. Just one second. Thank you very much. Yeah. Eliani. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Okay. Let's see. Leslie, where are you? Let's see. Leslie. Uh, there you go. Yes, you're right, Leslie. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Okay. There you go. I'm here too, teacher. Angeli, thank you. There thank you. There we go. Let's continue then. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, the first thing for today, let's start. Let's 
go with all the powers. <laughs> Every power here. There we go. Let me share the screen. And this is what we have to start with. Okay, let's see. Let's imagine, let's imagine that in your company, they need to buy some paper and you are the one in charge of the purchase process, okay? So let's see uh, the way to describe this product that we need and all the uh, characteristics that, uh, that in a filling form of purchase, we need to add, okay? And the details about the purchase. So let me, let me go here because I cannot move this thing. Ugh, let me move this. Not possible there. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. We need to buy some paper and you are in charge of doing this purchase. Purchase, okay? So let's concrete it. This is the first question. So we want to buy paper. Walter Mauricio, please read the first question and um, Leslie, please answer the question, okay? Walter ask the question and Leslie uh, answer the question. There you go. Okay. Uh, Leslie, how much of paper do we need? Mm -hmm. uh, we need a lot of the paper. Excellent, good. We need a lot of paper, but now we need to know an amount, right? We need an amount to know how much of paper we have to buy, correct? So let's think about a quantifier. Let's remember, Leslie, yesterday we said about the containers. Do you remember? Containers. So let's count the containers here. Okay, how much paper do we need? Ah, that's a good answer, a lot of paper. Now, let's think, what's the presentation of paper? The ream of paper, boxes of paper, what else? Packages of paper, correct? Correct? Okay, then I am going to write the answer that Leslie gave us, okay? And he said, we need a lot of paper. Correct. This is a very good answer, but now we are doing the purchase. So we need to know a, an exact amount to buy it. Okay, let's imagine the correct, um, yeah, the correct um, question here, okay? And let's imagine another, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the presentation or the package, right? Or oh, how is it packed that it is correct, right? How this, how it, Oh, do you remember the other one? Uh, how does it come packed? Okay, how does it come packed? Let's think. Ah, we said in containers like boxes. What else? Rims. Okay, what else? Packages. Let's say of 500 sheets, okay? We are describing, we are describing uh, the way to sell the paper 
of the way that they present your paper. How do they sell it? Okay. So how does it compact? Uh, it comes in boxes and rims and packages of 500 sheets. Uh, okay, then what will be the next questions? Uh, we need, mm -hmm, we need, mm, let's say, how many boxes do you think it is okay to buy for your company? How many boxes of paper? In my company, um, 20 rims for months. 20 rims, okay. 20 rims, we need 20 rims. Okay, there for, you go. For moms. Okay, let's think that right now we are on the phone and we are talking with a person and we need 20 rims, okay. And in Edward company, they need this per month, okay? There we go. These that you see here are questions that come after an answer, okay? After an answer, just maintaining the conversation and asking for information, correct? Okay, now. Let's see, we need 20 rims per, uh, per month. Okay, good. What size of paper do we use? What size of paper do we use? Paper comes in these sizes, letter and let's say legal, okay, letter, legal. Uh, letter is the same as the standard, okay? or standard, okay, legal, tabloid, okay, these are sizes of paper, and these sizes comes, I'm saying, these sizes come in inches, do you remember that, eight, eight inches uh, um, by 11 inches, I think it's later, Right. And the legal, I think it is eight inches by 13 or 14, 14 or something. OK, there you go. So tabloid is uh, like the paper, the newspaper uh, size. OK, and there you go. What size of, per of paper do we use? Ah, what will be the correct answer here? Hmm? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. We we use a letter size. Good. We use letter letter size. Good. I'm having problem with the letter Z in my computer. You see? <laughs> One moment. No, it doesn't come. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to give the space because I cannot write the letter C at the moment. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Good, good, good. So now what kind of color of paper do we need? What color of paper do we need? What color of paper do we need? We need a white paper. Good, good. Can you write it down, please? Uh, 
Ajá. Is that possible? Okay, I'm going to write it down. We need mm -hmm, white paper or white color, right? We need white paper. There we go. And Next question. Can you read it, please, Francisco? Okay, teacher. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh huh. Can you give me an answer, Rita, please? Um, uh, the it the cost uh -huh. no. it is, cost uh -huh. it cost uh, i don't know 20 dollars okay 20 dollars per rim yes <laughs> i don't know okay let's for, let's for dollar for dollar for rims Okay, four dollars per rim will be four dollars per twenty rims because we are buying twenty rims, right? So it is uh, eighty uh, four uh, or five dollars per rim. Uh huh. Okay, uh, it costs one hundred dollars. No. Oh, thank you. Four for, for twenty rims. Okay, four dollars per rim. Okay. So total cost is, you said 200? So to, uh, 80, $80. $80? dollars let us do the math, guys. Let's do the math. $80? I think it is 160, right? Because it is. Uh, Four by two for multiply twenty. No, it is eighty, right? Eighty dollars. Okay, there we go. Total cost eighty dollars. There you go. And now the last question: When is the purchase order going to be delivered? When is this purchase order going to be delivered? Uh -huh. Let's say an answer for that. It is going to be delivered and give me a date and a time. Date and time. Uh, on, on Thursday, 22nd. On Thursday, what? On Thursday, the 22nd. Good. Okay. There we go. Okay, so when now we now ordered some paper, okay? We ordered some paper for our company. Now it's your turn, guys. It's your turn. We are going to erase this and it's your turn. Remember the questions. Remember these questions. These are very common when you are having a conversation ordering a product. So let's see next one. This is what we need to buy in our company. We need to buy uniforms for the warehouse employees. Can you give me some questions and answers to fill a purchase form?
and my company teacher know. You know, do we need a uniform? Okay, yes, but this is an activity. Uh, in your company, they oh. don't wear, right? They don't wear uniforms. But let's imagine, let's imagine that this is our company. Right now, we are workers in a company, okay? And we need to purchase some uniforms for our warehouse employees, all right? So let's think some questions to fill a purchase order, okay? To fill in a purchase order. So let's describe what we need. Ah, we need some uniforms, aha. Uh -huh. What question do you think is the first one that you're going to ask? If you say, hey, we need to buy uniforms for the warehouse employees. Uh-huh. How many uniforms? Good. Okay. Good. How many uniforms do you need? Let's say a uh, quantity. Let's say an answer. We need. Um, uh -huh. 25 uniforms. 25 uniforms. Good. There we go. Uh, another question. Mm -hmm. Can you describe these uniforms? With um, questions? What size you need? Good. What's, again, my letter C here. <laughs> oh my God. What size <laughs> do you need? Mm -hmm. But in this case, we are talking in plural. Okay. So what sizes? Okay. What sizes? Let's see if it is possible to write it down here. No, I don't know what it's going on here with my computer. Something is wrong. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it's slipping. Zzz, right. <laughs> it's slipping. There you go. What sizes do you need? Some answers? Sure. Mm -hmm. We can make a, another question. What, yes. what kind of characteristic? What? what kind of characteristic? How do you say in English? Yes, like that. Characteristics. Characteristics. Okay. But in this case, it we has could to be. also. Okay. But in this case, we could ask about features. Okay. What kind of features? Features. Uh, yes. Or what features? Okay. okay. What features do you want on your on your uniform? So in this case, uh, what kind of characteristics do you want? Mm -hmm. um, uh huh. So let's say the sizes: large, extra large, medium, uh -huh. medium, a small. Thank you. There we go. Excellent. So if they are 25, they are going to ask you how many of the large size do you need, right? And how many of the extra large do you want, correct? So let's say this other question. Then we are going to answer the one uh, your classmate gave us, okay? So let's think. How many of the large size? Oh, hey again. Do you need? And let's say we need 10, okay? So we need 10 large. Uh -huh. Then we can ask the other, right? 
There you go. How many of the extra large? How many of the medium? How many of the small? So the many the men. Mm -hmm. How the many uh, the men? How the many the woman? Oh, yes, that's true. So it is good because we could say what kind of characteristics or features do you want? Ah, very good. We need, we need 10 for women. Uh -huh. And we need, that's a feature, okay? Mm-hmm. And we need 15 for men, okay? There you go. Mm -hmm. Yes? We need a logo. Good, okay. And the features, uh-huh, we could say uh, with logo on the, or a scarf, right? A scarf, uh, like with logo on the, frontal oh or in the sleeve right there you go on the sleeve here on the sleeve okay mm -hmm. do we need the name of the employee do we need the name here okay with the name of every employee mm -hmm. another feature the color Blue. what color okay. what kind of fabric fabric okay what kind of fabric fabric yes this the material right the material is fabric so what kind of fabric do you need okay let's say um <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do need the logo on the front, the back, uh, and embroidery. Oh, good. Embroidered. Okay. Embroidered. With logo on this, with a embroidered. I think this is the correct uh, spelling. Embroidered. Logo on the sleeve, right? Good with the name of every employee. What else? Another feature? With bags? With how many bags or pockets? How many pockets? Eight pockets, let's say. Eight pockets. Uh-huh. What else? Features, features. Let's imagine you, you are designing your uniform Teacher. that you want. Mm -hmm. Teacher, another feature will be could mm -hmm. be re reflective stripe. Oh, good, good, good. With reflecting uh, stripes. Good stripes on on the back. Or around, yeah. around, around the, all around, let's yeah, say. Around, around the body. Okay, all around, uh huh, all around the body. Okay, mm -hmm. body. there you go. Mm -hmm. Good. If you see, we are ordering uniforms for our employees. Okay, we are designing and we are saying the features, we are uh, saying the amount. If you see, we use how many, you, we use sizes, okay? We use the amount or the quantity. Now, let's see. Uh, we can ask to the distributor or to the... Um, um, sure. Uh -huh. What about the cost? Good. What about the cost? Good. So what will be the, the question? 
how uh -huh. how much excellent mm -hmm. the cost is okay we could ask each one or we could ask for the total amount okay how much uh, if it is in plural do the uniforms the cost okay how much do the uniforms cost or if we are asking for each one okay then we could ask how much does every um uniform cost okay or we could use each each okay how much does each uniform cost hmm? correct this the first one is in plural how much do the uniform cost and singular how much does each uniform cost correct are we okay with this yes teacher okay thank you so now we're going to do another little activity because we need to make clear some um topics okay Okay, let's go to our manuals. Let's go to our manuals because we have to go to page 17, I think it is, 17. Oh, this is mine. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Page 17. So you see that we have a vocabulary practice, okay? We're going to take um, at least 10 minutes, okay? We are taking 10 minutes to do number one activity, activity um, number three, and activity number four, okay? And activity number four, you got it? The only one that you are not going to do in your group will be activity two. Activity two, no, we are not doing it, correct? So, the first activity is a vocabulary practice. You have to find eight words about the product features and you have to write every word that you find out in that letter soup. And you write number one, number two, at the time that you are finding them out. Now, and the other, let's see, number three, you have to write a question to match each answer, correct? And then we are going to write obligations, obligations. And that's it. You are going to work with a classmate and let me, do you have any question about this? Do you understand the activity? I am understanding. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. you do? You understand? Okay, it's page 17 and page 18. This is a vocabulary practice. Okay. Just let me break you out in groups. Mm 
Okay. There you are. Carlos Antonio. Hello. Didn't you receive the message to go to a room? Okay. Uh, features and uh, size. Mm -hmm. yeah. In column 10. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Teacher. We are in page 17. Yes. Okay, yes. we are in page 17, so you have to find out and circle every word that you find out in this in the letter soup. Okay, and then you write down okay. every word. Correct. There okay, perfect. Thank you. If teacher. you want, you can show your book uh, to your classmate and then you can say, ah, here, look, and here, and this. Mm -hmm. You can cross the word this side. Okay, there you go. I think okay. it will be easier. perfect. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Hey. Two fishers. Okay, the features. Yeah. Do you remember the features? Size. Do you remember the other feature? The other features? Mm -hmm. Price. Yes. Mm -hmm. Weight. Warranty. Warranty. Good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, then I'm going to leave the room. No, quiero ver. No, las filas son horizontales, ¿verdad? las columnas son verticales. Entonces, columna 5, columna 5, fila 10. ¿Cuál encontró usted? He encontrado la que dice. Eh, Wedge. La, en, la, en, la, en la primera fila. Ajá. Ajá. Wedge. Let's use our vocabulary. Let's use our vocabulary. Okay. You may show if you want. Show. Show your, your, if you have a book. If you don't have a book, then you can share. It says, uh, share your screen. Let's wow. try. Do you have the option there? Okay. <laughs> share your screen. Okay, I'm going to share mine, okay? I'm going to share mine. Uh-huh. Well. I'm going to share my screen. Oh, wait. Okay, do you see my screen here? Yes. 
Uh -huh. Okay, let's yes, do it together. Yes, let's do it together just for you to take note about the vocabulary that you can use. Okay, so Rosa, where did you find weight? Or what was the word that you find out? Where is where is uh, in the in the first in the uh -huh. first columns? Okay, in the first line, remember, line uh, lies, uh -huh, and lies. column, okay? Uh -huh. Line, uh, column, correct? First, first line, columns. Thank you very much. First line, Edward, first line, you are going to find weight. Look it up. Did you find it out? Uh, um, w E eight. Mm, B, I see it's a B, no. You are correct, you are correct, but in the whole soup, you are not going to find out another. I think this was a typo, okay? And let's imagine that this B was a G, correct? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay, Edward, and you are completely right. You are for sure, you're right, okay? There is a mistake in there because uh, there is no other weight war here. Um, okay, good. Um, I, I see function, function. Where do you see it? Um, Rosita, Rosita. Okay. Rosita, okay. ask. Uh, is uh, the function? Function. Function? Uh huh. Is, uh, uh, the the column uh, five. Okay, well, I don't see it. You said 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Sure. You see? Function. Thank you very much. Sure. Mm -hmm. What other? What other? Rosita, did you find another? Edward, did you, fi did you find another? Uh, only function. I okay. <laughs> okay, good. Let's remember that we are looking for price size, warranty, what other? Do you remember the features? These are the words that you are going to find out. Look, Just let me go there. Oh, good. Look, these are the features. Size, uh, weight, size, price, weight, dimensions, price, dimension, battery, battery life. life, storage, function, warranty. Okay, so go ahead, go ahead and continue looking for the words, okay? I'm going to leave the room and I'm going with other classmates, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye, thank you. I came back, guys. I came back because I am trying to connect uh, Carlos Ernesto. Okay, if he shows up in your group, please work with him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. 
work please with Carlos Ernesto too. Good. Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Are you there, Carlos Ernesto? Yes, teacher, I am here. Okay, I am, good. I am I, I am drive, teacher. For oh, my car. so you're driving. I'm okay. sorry. Yes. Okay, okay, no problem. But you may listen. Okay, you may listen okay, what yes. they are yes, working yes, yes. at. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. I'm going to leave the room, guys, and I'm going with another group. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? How are you doing with this activity? In the letter soup. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. How is it going? Did you find all the words? No. Not yet. Okay, let's see. Let's remember the features. What are the features of a product? Those that we saw in the vocabulary. Do you remember? Yes. Okay, can you tell me the, the features? Size, mm -hmm. color, weight, um, price. Good. Warranty. Warranty. Mm -hmm. um, Function. Function. Excellent. Battery life. Do you remember? Battery life. Battery. Okay. Yes. So, what words did you find, Angeli? Angeli. I'm sorry. <laughs> what words? What words did you find in the box and the letter soup? Size, price, and function. Okay. And did your classmate know where to find them out? Do you have the same, Rita? No? Okay. I'm going to share. I'm going to share here. They okay. These these are the words that you are looking for. Okay, remember these are the words that you are looking for: size, weight, price, dimensions, battery life, storage, function, warranty. Okay. Okay. Those are the features of a product that we studied. That's our vocabulary. Remember. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to the little soup. But uh -huh. no. <laughs> little soup. Okay. No, you can't find out. Okay. Let's no. see. Uh, you said function. You found function. Yes. Uh huh. Four. Lines. Uh huh. De abajo para arriba. Okay. Uh, down, up. No. From up or from down? From, from down. Or down, up. Up, down, up. Uh huh. Okay. Function, function. Remember, function here. I'm going to annotate. I have. Okay. I see function here. Look. It's here. Right? Function. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay. What other did you find? Good, Price. good. Price. Uh huh. Excellent. You can show it because you have it printed. Good. Mm -hmm. 
surprise. Good. You see? Uh-huh. Excellent. Size. Uh-huh. And size. Where is size? Right uh, above that, right? Um, hmm. um rice. There you go. Size. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Angeli, that's a very good option to, to focus the... Um, the um, material. Good, good, good. Rita, do you see another one? No. Okay, come down and see it. Warranty. Focus, focus. Warranty. Warranty. Where is it? Um, let me see. Hi. Teacher in the uh -huh. line one up. It's a. It's no. Wait. Uh huh. This one. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. There is no other word that Can says wait. See? Even though, even though uh, it doesn't have a G on it, it has a B on it. But don't worry, that was a mistake. So it is okay. Good. Wait. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can see there your uh, work. I uh, see right in the in this one. Aha, uh -huh. you see Rita? Rita, second line. Second line. Second line. Yeah, the dub the W that you see in the second line. Yes. From the W, go down, and you will find warranty. Okay. Warranty. Did you find warranty. it out? Yeah. Okay, good. You see? So you can use your vocabulary, girls, okay? Use okay. your vocabulary. Please don't speak Spanish. Use your vocabulary. There you go. Okay, thank you. Thanks, teacher. Do you see another one? Um, Go to the last line. Dimension. Uh huh. Dimensions. Where is it? Where is it? Um, end line. Uh huh. The uh, end column. I mean, the final column here. Uh huh. Good. Go to letter D. Dimension. Uh huh. Here, right? Yes. Good. And you go up. Good. You see? Dimensions, dimensions. And remember to write the, the words, right? Battery life. Uh huh. Where is battery life? Line N A. Okay. Remember to write down. Where is battery life? Yeah. Yeah. There. Here. There. Yes. There. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Uh huh. From layer B to the. Oh, one second. Does it again? Uh -huh. we go. <laughs> Very straight. <laughs> really straight. Okay, there we go. I'm going to uh, leave the room and you continue, okay? Okay. Okay, see you. Hello. 
Hello. How are you doing? Is it easy? Easy? Mm. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but was it fun? Was it fun to find and circle the words in the letter soup? The letter soup. We are looking for the features, okay? What words did you find, Elvia? What words, words did you find? What words? Fine. Mm -hmm. Jal is... Did you finish? Finish. Excellent. Finish. Excellent. Finish. All the features. Okay. But just remember, no Spanish. Use your vocabulary, okay? <laughs> I can hear you that you were using your vocabulary, okay? Don't be afraid. Fight the fear. Fight the fear, okay? There we go. I'm going to leave the room and see you there, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, my dear students, then the last, I mean, the next activity is to take the attendance. Okay, so please relax. We are going to take the attendance. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernest, perdón, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Francisco Edward Fausto, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, but you've got to say present. If you don't say present, it doesn't Pre count. Present, okay, present. okay, Sorry. good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present, teacher. Okay, Carla Maria Los Guevara Callejas. Les present. Okay, Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Present, teacher. Maria Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Maria Fernanda, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, Rita Beatriz Cabrera de Sea, de C Cabrero de Sea. Okay. Present teacher. Good. Yes. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Um, William Isaac Montoya Ávila. William, are you there? Okay. Now let's continue with this. Today, 
we have okay again okay we are going to study today we're going to practice today the whole unit one and then we are going to continue with unit two but let's see i will give you the, the same process you go by google okay go to google and in the search box you write down joinmyquiz.com okay i'm going to write it down in the chat remember go to google and uh, search oh i have problems with my letter z remember i don't know why am i today it started with this Gosh, join my quiz with the letter C dot com. Can someone write it down in the chat? Because I'm having trouble with letter Z. Oh, hey, there you go. Quiz dot com. In for students punto com. Yes, you, you go to join my quiz dot com. Join my quiz dot com. And I will give you the code. It's loading. Almost there. Almost there. There are only 18 questions. And this is about the whole unit. Okay. And the code is, I'm going to write it down here. One one nine three two eight. One one nine. One one nine three two eight. Two three three two eight. Two eight. I see you there, Francisco, yes, Fausto, Silvia, good, Leslie, Rosa, good, Maria Fernanda, excellent, Rita. One, one, nine. Uh huh. One, one, nine, three, two, eight. It's in the chat. Three, two, eight. Marielos Guevara, excellent, Elvia Yanet, perfect. Mm -hmm. Carlos, could you access? Me, me access, teacher. Uh, Edward, yes, Edward. My computer, my computer is trying, teacher. Okay, it's loading. Yes. Okay, just wait for a little uh, moment. Yeah. Okay. There you go, who is in, let's see. Okay, 11, I have 11 and we are. Let's see. I okay, but we are 17, we are I 17. Connected. Okay, great. I'm connected teacher. Okay, okay.
Okay, good. Walter is in. Carlos is in. Do we start? Everybody ready? Yes, it's true. Ready. Okay. Uh, yeah, Marielos, yes, it's in. Good. I don't see so Wilfredo we, there, we, but okay. Let's start the game. Let's start the game. Remember, here you can have more than one correct option. Okay, you can have more than one correct option. Okay. And we're going to start. Three, two, one, and go. Teacher, me perdí. I went to the bathroom. One moment. Let me see. ¿Quién se perdió? Yo, Angeli. Angeli. Angeli, you have to go to Google. Okay? Go okay. to Google. Okay. In Google, you in the search box. En la cajita okay. para buscar, okay. tienes que escribir joinmyquiz.com. Uh, repeat, please. Joinmyquiz.com. Joinmyquiz.com. Is it asking you for a code? Oh. Uh, for students quiz Angeli uh, yes teacher okay the code is in the chat 119328 le pidió el código Angeli yeah. Únete al juego, eh. ahí le tengo que dar. Ajá, únete al juego, cabal. El, el, ajá, el código. El código está en el chat para que lo vea bien. 93. Yes. Okay. Right now. Then answer the question. Okay.
Sí, Chori, ¿y cuál seleccionamos? Ya media vez estemos adentro. Eleani. Eleani preguntó. Sí. Ok, uh, tiene, le pide el código, ¿verdad? Sí, ya logré ingresar. Ok, y le está mostrando las preguntas. Ya le digo. Usted lee la pregunta, you read the question, and then you select the correct answer. Usted elige la respuesta correcta. Puede tener más de una respuesta correcta. Ok. Good, Fausto. You are in the second place right now. Maria Fernanda, you are on the head. Good. Excellent. Good. Francisco on the head now. Good. Excellent. Finish teacher. Very good. Excellent, Rita. Thanks.
Very good, Rosa. You are almost done. You're waiting for Don't worry, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're waiting. Okay, great. Okay, now everybody's done. Excellent. Everybody finished. And let's see. Mm, not everyone, not everyone. Elvia is working and Rosa is working in this. There you go, Elvia, go ahead, nice. Rosa, you got disconnected. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good, Eleni, you finished. There you go, Elvia. Nice. Mm -hmm. Those who finish, how did you feel? How did you feel the activity? Was it easy? I said, oh, yes, teacher, oh, yay. <laughs> I did not understand that they were multiple selection. <laughs> Ah, the multiple choice. Yes, I told you that you have to uh, mark more than one. Could be correct, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, I'm, I, uh, I'm choose only uh -huh. one uh, option and uh -huh. it's wrong. The, the, 
but you think that is that is correct yes but um i don't know how do you say uh, in spanish como tenía que escoger varias Yes, it's true. It's true. Yes. It's true. You have Había. if you Había didn't select if you didn't select all the correct answers, then doesn't count either. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now you had the experience. Now you know how it works, and it will be easier the next time, right? So, what about the content? What about the content? Did you feel easy, the content? More or less, teacher. Yes. The More content, the content More or less. is okay. easy. Okay. Some are easy and some are difficult, right? Some questions are easy and some are difficult. Just let me see because Elvia is still working. Let's see. No, it wasn't, it wasn't Elvia. It is Rose, I think. For me, teacher, yes. uh, for the question about the uh, um, labels, uh -huh. was very difficult. Difficult? The, yes. I mean, the content of the label. Yes. Okay, because all were correct. All the options were correct because in a shipping yeah. label, you can find the sender's address, the recipient's address, the tracking number and all of those uh, pieces of information, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So just let me see because we have to finish this game and let me, allow me to do that. Okay, I'm going to finish it. And let's see. Let's see. Okay, good, 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 good. I think Francisco was the was the first place. He got the first place, Francisco, with ten thousand and twenty. I mean, ten thousand two hundred and twenty points. I think that was the. Um, the score for Francisco. So clap for Francisco. He got the first place. Yay. Hey, good, good. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Very good, Francisco. You were the one today. So you are the man. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Do you have any question about the about the content of this game? Carlos told us that the question where it says, what uh, does a shipping label content, right? Then you had to select all of them because tracking number, the service method and the senders and the recipient address, okay? So they were like that. Do you have any other question about any, any uh, question in the game? Or are we okay? Are we okay? Okay. Okay, good. So today we have uh, another, I mean, we have another topic continuing with the purchase and the storing. And now we are going to get into online shopping. Do you like shopping? I remember that Angeli and Carla love to go shopping, but everyone, do you like go shopping? Yes. Yes, yes it's very, it, I think it's fun going shopping. It's fun. You can get whatever you want. You see all the functions, you see the new things on the market and it's, uh, it's entertainment, right? It's entertainment, entertainment, going shopping. Okay, let's go to our manuals. Let's go to our manuals and we are going to see um, a question that we have there. A question that we have there. Someone is having trouble at the moment. Let's see. Oh, 
there you go. Thank you very much. And I think it's page 19, right? Page 19. Okay. What do you prefer? Do you prefer go to a shopping mall? Do you go? Or do you like to go to the supermarket, or do you buy in a little store? What What do you prefer? What's the way you like go shopping? Mm -hmm. It depends, John. It depends on what. It depends, yeah, because uh, depend about kind of uh, thing I, I am going to buy. Good, example, it depends. Uh -huh. For example, we are going to on go the, to, on to the, buy uh -huh. the different food for my family. Okay. I, go, I go to the market, but if I go to buy clothes, I go to a, a mall. Good. Okay, where can you buy um, clothes? Where can you buy clothes? Yeah, so, I can go, uh, I live in Santana City. I can go to okay. Metro Centro. So it is a shopping mall, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I go. Okay. Um, downtown. Okay, downtown, good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And you may go to different stores, okay? Oh, clothing stores, right? Yeah. Clothing stores. Yes, teacher, but mm -hmm. I can I can buy or I can, yes, uh, uh, online in different Excellent, uh-huh. Online, uh, good. In your phone is easy. Okay. For the apps eBay. Okay, eBay. Uh -huh. Amazon. Alibaba. Yeah. Alibaba. <laughs> yeah. it, uh -huh. it is a good maybe, idea. Uh -huh. Maybe yeah. local uh, apps. Okay, local apps. Uh -huh. Like in Facebook. and Facebook, you have markets, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And you find a uh, 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 clothes store, and you can find um, a food apps too. Food apps, correct. Mm -hmm. You can get some delivery. Uh, yeah, food delivery, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can also access to uh, transportation services, right? Online. Mm -hmm. So you you like to go shopping better than online shopping, or do you prefer online shopping instead of going to a physical store? What do you I prefer? prefer? I prefer physical. You prefer physical? Yeah, because sure. we can choose any product. Okay. Or buy. You can see the product, right? Me, both teacher. Both, okay. Why? Um, in Instagram, uh -huh. I like the See the products. Okay. Um, physical equal. Okay. The what is um the advantage here going to a physical store? Wilfredo say that you can see the product. I think that you can see the functions. Right. Yes. You can try it. Yeah. You can try the product. I, I have a bad experience, teacher. I, I want uh, oh, really? two, two, week, two weeks ago, I went 
to buy shoes for to play soccer. Oh, uh huh. But when I ask the seller, hey, but what uh -huh. about the what? How do you say marca in English, teacher? I don't Trademark. Know. Trademark. Trade. Trademark. Uh huh. Okay. When and I I ask him. Uh, no, 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 me. This is not original. Ah, no, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry but, to hear that. Yeah, it's a very bad experience that's because why you. I, I I prefer go to the store and see the physical. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, okay. So you had a bad experience before, and what did yeah. you do? Did you return the, the product or did you ask for a refund of your money or no, I, you didn't buy it? I called him and uh -huh. I told I told her, no, I am, I'm not going to buy it because this is probably, I, mm. this is, I, okay. I want to buy it. Because okay. It is not good for me. Okay. And what what products do you like to go to buy an Instagram? It was Sandra, the one who said, right? Or Rita. Sorry. Okay. Uh, who told me that love to buy an Instagram? Um, a food. Uh huh. Cakes. Uh, dessert, okay. mm -hmm. um, coffee, t shirts, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. t shirts. Mm -hmm. Good. These are products that you can get online, right? But this are kind of local delivery service, okay? Right? Okay. So yes, we can buy online and we can buy in a physical store, okay? Now, let's think about the process of the purchase. When you go online, what's the first thing that you have to do? Let's see. What is the first thing that you have to do? Ask for ask, ask price. Ask the price. Yes, correct. I think that's a very good point to ask the price and to make sure that you can buy it, you can afford that spending of money. So let's see here in our manuals, we have some steps, okay? We have a list of steps. Let's read the steps, okay? Let's read the steps. Let's read the instruction here. Listen to the pronunciation of the different steps to follow when making an online purchase. Then write down the steps in order. Let's see. These are not in order. These are not in order. So, but we are going to say all of them and you repeat, please activate your audio, open your mics, your microphones, and let's uh, repeat after me, please. Credit card information. Credit card information. Again, credit card information. Credit card information. Confirm your information and submit. Confirm your information and submit. Again, confirm your information and submit. Okay, next one. Select the item to purchase. Select the item to purchase. Okay, select the item to purchase. 
Go to the online web page. Go to the online web page. Go to the online web page. Write your billing address. Write your billing address. Write your billing address. Write your billing address. Check the price. Check, Check, the the price. Price. Check the price. Check the price. Check the price. Confirm the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. payment. Okay. Log in to your account. Log, Log in to your account. account. Log in to your account. Log in to your account. Okay, do you have any question about these uh, steps? Uh, these expressions? Do you have any vocabulary question? What is the billing address? What is the billing address? Billing address. What is it? Billing address. Can usually, you? teacher, usually is information about the customers. Okay, usually you said is the information of the customer. Mm, yes. Okay, the billing address is if you have, if you have a different address where you receive your, the status of your credit card, um, um, your balance, right? Or the status. So we could think that your billing or your invoice is going to go to that address, okay? Also, the billing address could be different where you live. For example, if they go to bill or to take you the bill to your job, for, for example, then that's the billing address, okay? That's the billing address. Or the billing address also is the address that you have attached to your credit card information, okay? Attached to your credit card information. So that's the billing address. Okay, it could be different uh, to the address where you live or you actually live. So let's see, what is method of payment? Method of payment. It's a credit card or physical money. Okay, maybe. cash. Cash. Cash, cash okay. or credit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Cash. cash or credit. Good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, nowadays, you can uh, pay by PayPal, right? Use another um, account or these other methods that exist online. You can open an account with PayPal and they pay, right? You can transfer. You can make a trans uh, a transfer from your bank to an an account, right? To another bank account or to direct uh, to the store that you are buying. Another method of payment uh, today is when you use an app, okay? You use an app and you have a barcode and the, or a QR code, and then you pay with that method of payment too. Okay, so now we can say cash, credit, by app, by PayPal, right? bank transfers, that's method of payment. And let's see, do you have any question about this vocabulary? I don't have a question. Okay, now let's do the process. Let's put in order every step. Which one do you think is the first step? The first step. Uh, when you go buy online? I I think uh, 
go to the online web page. Okay. You may go to the uh, online web page. Okay. Everybody agree? Yes, teacher. What do you think it's going to be the second step? Select the items to purchase. Select the item or the item that you are going to buy, right? To purchase. Good. Yes. Number three or the third step. Third step. Teacher, mm -hmm. um, I, I think um, in the second mm -hmm. um, login to your account. Oh, that's a good point. Very good. So the first one you said it was go to online web page. Okay. Next one. Let's see. Will be the second step. You said login to your account. There you go. And the third step, select the items is okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. And the fourth step, which is the fourth step? What do you think? Check the price. Excuse Check me? The, the price. Okay. Check the price. Good. Check the price. Check the price. Okay. And the fifth step? Confirm the method of pay. Payment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we are going to check back. Okay, what is the the sixth? The sixth. Why you billing others? Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. And the seventh. Red cards information. Okay. Confer your information and submit. Okay, and then you said confirm your information and submit. Submit. Okay. Let's see. Okay, the last activity today is that we are going to say this list using the ordinal numbers, okay? We're gonna say first step, okay? Everybody, first step. First step. First step. First step. Excellent, we linked the two words, first step. First step. Okay. First step. Second step. Second step. Third step. Third Third step. Third step. Okay, I will write for you the uh, it's not the pronunciation, it's how it is written, okay? Third, third. third. So this third. sound, th, 
we pronounce it like C. Put your tongue between your teeth like this. Don't be afraid. Third. Third. Okay. Third step. Third step. Okay, everyone, I want to hear you. Third step. Third step. Third step. Good. Let's go. Fourth step. Fourth step. Fourth. Fourth step. Fifth step. Fifth step. Fifth step. Fifth step. Sixth step. Seventh step. Seventh step. Eighth step. Eighth step. Okay, this is giving an order. One before the other, um, I'm sorry, one after the other and not before, right? There is a step that it can't be made if you don't do one before, okay? So, which is the first step? Go to online web page, okay? First step, go to online web page. Everybody, please say it with me. First step, first go step, to online go, web, go, web page. First step, go, go to online, online web page. page. Second step, second step, second step go, into go into your account. Log into your account. Third step, third step. Third step. Select the item to purchase. Select the item to purchase. Fourth step. Fourth step. Fourth step. Check the price. Check the price. Fourth step. Fifth step. Fifth step. Fifth step. Fifth step. Confirm the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. Sixth step. I'm sorry, six, six, six to step. six. Yeah. Six, six step, I'll draw it like this, right? Six, <laughs> six step. Six, six step. Write right. your billing address. Write right. your billing address. Good. Seven step. Seven, Seven step. step. Credit cards information. Credit card information. Eighth step. Eighth step. Confirm your information and submit. Okay, this is the order of the purchase or the online shopping or when you go to buy online, okay? This is for you to take note, uh, the order of the steps of doing something, okay? Now let's... Now let's go below this. Below this, we have Okay. Here, you have to circle, okay? Make a circle. Circle the correct answer. Circle the correct answer. Number one, number one, let's read it. It's necessary to follow those or that steps to purchase what someone needs. What is correct? Those steps or that steps? Those. Okay, those. let's see those. Those. Those steps to purchase what someone needs. Number two, I think that I want to buy those or that big desk. I like that, that or those. That. 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 I want to buy that big desk. Excellent. That. that big desk. That. 
Number three, what do you think it is correct? Can you read it please, Leslie? The third sentence. This teacher. Okay, can you read the complete sentence, please, for us? Read it. All the sentence. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to buy? Um, do you want to the buy this refrigerator? Refrigerator. Okay. It's it's for, it's for different colors. Okay, great. Do yes, you I'm want sorry. to buy this refrigerator? It comes in four different colors. So the correct word is this, this right? Number four. Can you read it, please, Rosa? Uh, this. Number four. I am going. I am going. I am going to buy this two tablets while credit card. Okay. This or this? This. This or this? This. 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 Okay. Plural, this. right? Plural. Good. With this With or this? This. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Here it's missing a letter D. Okay. There you go. Do you have any question about this at the moment? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Good. Okay, then let me take the attendance. Teacher, mm -hmm. yeah. when you use does and this. Okay, good, good uh, question, Edward. I was waiting for that question. Yes. I, 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 understand, I understand that both is plural. These and those, these and those. Okay. Yes, yes. In the next plural. page, in the next page, let's go to the next page. We have a box. We have a box with the explanation of this one moment because I always for, forget to erase. Okay. We have the use. This is to demonstrate something. Um, we are using this or that to demonstrate or to um, reinforce, right? Reinforce that we are uh, describing that this or that product is the one we want. So let's see. This, this is near. Yes. That is uh, yes. far away. Uh, yes, uh, correct. Okay, just let me go step by step here. Okay, let me go step by step. And the first thing that we have to take consideration is if we are using singular or we are using plural. Are we talking about one thing or are we talking about some more or more than one product. For example, here in the singular, you are going to see that the first sentence says, I want to buy this computer. Ah, it means that the computer is near and it's only one computer, okay? Only one computer and near where I am next to me, 
Okay, next to me. So let's see when they use that. She is going to order that kit, that kit. She can touch it, right? She can touch it. It's not near, it's far away in a distance, okay? In a distance. The, and it's only one thing. It's only one thing, it's singular. So we use that kit. What if we want, or she is going to order more than one kit? Ah, and it's distant or, or they are distant. Ah, then we say she is going to order those because it's far, right? or they are far, then those kids for her friend, then we are talking in plural. That's the difference and the use. We use this and that when we are talking about one thing. This is for near or next to you. And that is for a distance from you. That is a distance from you and it's only one product. What if we are talking about more than one product? Uh, then, for example, shoes, they are two, more than one. Then we use these shoes, right? These shoes or these shoes near me. I can touch them some uh, proximity, right? You can have the proximity here and then you say this and you point them, right? It's not that they are far in a distance. Now, let's see the other, those, those, you cannot touch them. They are not near you. They're not next to you. So you use those. It's more than one, those cars. You get it? You get it? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Um, what is the difference in sound or this? in plural mm -hmm. and this and singular. Great, great question. Okay, for plural, for plural, and near to you is this, this, short, this, and for um, near you or next to you, but it's only one product, this, this, okay? this, this and these, do you see? This and these, okay? These and this, this and this. You get the difference? Like, a, like an E-A for singular, like an E-A. Uh -huh. the, 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 this, this, this and these. This, and this. these. These, it's a letter, yeah, the, it's a letter I, like these. these. Correct, there you the. go. Tomorrow we are going to see this topic, okay? Tomorrow we are, get, because it's more than 10 now, it's past okay. some minutes, and uh, we have to give the assessment for, I think it was for Angeli, right? I don't remember who was the one. No, it's for Edward today, it's for Edward. Edward, are you staying with me? Yeah. Um, okay, si no, pues yeah. someone wanted to exchange, I mean, to change your date with Edward, his offering. Y la oferta se acaba en pick, pick. <laughs> okay, you tell us, you tell us. Okay, just let me get the attendance oh. or take the attendance again. I'm sorry, but I have to do it. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. 
Present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Uh, after Carla, there are some more. One moment. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Present. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present, teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present, teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present, teacher. Ok. Uh, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Walter got disconnected, I think. Yes, teacher, he disconnected. Ok, okay yes. But he was almost the whole class um, present. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. He's disconnected too. He teacher. got disconnected too. William Isaac Montoya Avila. Okay, we didn't see William today. Okay, then class dismissed. So have a, a good night, a great rest, okay? Take your time. Thank and you. also just let me remind you, you have to do your homework. You have to do your homework. <laughs> Please do, okay? Yeah. Please okay, do. Okay. 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 okay, the times Thank that you need to do it, do it because it's for practice, okay? There you go. Okay, mm -hmm. bye then. Bye, and teacher. Edward stays with you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Fausto is there. I, Fausto? I, wait, 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 Edward. Fausto? Fausto, are you there? Okay, there he is. Good. Okay, Edward, tell uh, me, do you have any question about the content uh, or do you need any explanation or <clears throat> reinforcement? No, I think your explanation is excellent. I, okay, I understand you, uh, clear. Um, okay. But I would prefer later help, no. I call have prefer a letter this uh, conversation because I now I have not questions. Oh, okay. So you want uh, to, to have a conversation. Okay, good. Sorry? You want to have a conversation. To practice. Um, no, I. Ah, okay. Um, about <laughs> about that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I may, maybe I misunderstood. You wanted to tell me what you said. Eso era lo que tú preferías eh, decirlo en esta reunión. No, hubiera preferido que mi reunión hubiera sido después. Oh, okay. Por, por eso, I, I would have preferred ah, okay. a letter. Later, okay, later. L oh, later, later. Later, later. later. okay. Later, okay. Um, because uh, now I don't, you don't have, have any questions. Uh, question. Okay. Uh, yes. yes. What, what do you <clears throat> think if we uh, practice a conversation from the from the um, from the manual and we go to the conversation in the beginning here okay you remember here 
you want mm -hmm. uh, we to practice with this conversation, then you practice your pronunciation, okay? Okay. Uh, you are Aaron uh, and I'm Sam, okay? Okay. Um, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask in detail the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, now you are Sam and I'm Aaron, okay? The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have, where does he have to store boxes? He and Ivan, wait, something's happening. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, great, great. Do you have any question about this vocabulary or something? Um, this vocabulary is very um, conocido. Understandable or no? Under understandable. Okay, okay. understandable. It's, it's understandable. Okay, but good. In my old work, um, mm -hmm. um, conocí eh, varias palabras de esas. Eh, sería... Um, Usábamos varias palabras de eso. Ok, good. Es good. We bastante used, familiar. We use those words. Mm -hmm. It's very familiar. Okay? It's very okay. familiar. It's very familiar. Okay. okay, done. I think there is no problem, right? And how was your homework doing? Um, Did you have any I, trouble with the homework? Because I saw that you got a hundred, right? No, it is yeah. 60 or 100. 100, 100. 100. Okay. Did you have any problem with the homework? No, no. No. Okay. I finished the, the first section. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good. So today I think you can do the next homework from the first uh, form for unit two. You can go and check if it is possible to do it, then you do it. Okay. If no, you wait for tomorrow's class. Okay? I, I think tomorrow. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Good. I think you're tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I think everybody yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> then no problem. I'm here to help you if you have any other question and let me know. Let me know whenever you have a question. And you can also use your group to send uh, or to text me any question that you um, think that it's giving you any trouble in the meantime, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Then, <laughs> then I think we, we finish, then you have a good rest today. Okay, tonight. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Bye, Edward. Bye. Have Bye. a good night. Bye-bye.